Joshua scored a 65, 80, 85, and 100 on his first four math quizzes. What score will Joshua have to earn on his fifth quiz to have a mean score of 85? This problem gives us the first four scores that Joshua earned on his math quizzes, which are 65, 80, 85, and 100. And what we have to determine is, what will Joshua have to score on his fifth quiz? So when we add up all five of these scores and divide that total by five, we come up with a mean score of 85. So we just have to figure out what this fifth score is. So when we get a total and divide by five, it will give us exactly 85. So the first thing that we can do is to recognize that division is the opposite operation of multiplication. So even though we don't know what this total of the five scores is yet, we know that if we work backwards and do 85 times five, that will give us what this unknown total will be. So we can take 85 and simply multiply that by five. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 is 42. So now we know that the total of all 5 of Joshua's scores must equal 425. So now we have to figure out what this fifth score is. So when we add it with the previous 4 quiz scores, it would be a total of 425. So what we can do next is just add up these 4 scores. 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1. 8 and 8 is 16, plus 7 more is 23, carry the 2. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So through the first four quizzes, Joshua has a total score of 330. So we have to figure out what that fifth score is, so he has a total of 425. And to find that difference, we can just take 425, and subtract 330 from it. This will be a 5. This will be a 9. And of course, we had to borrow from this 4. So we have nothing left in this column. So we can see that the fifth score that Joshua must earn to have an average of 85 must be a 95. So when solving a problem, when given the mean and you have to find the missing score, simply take the mean, multiply it by the total number of scores that you will have in the end, in this case it was 5, to find out what the total of all 5 scores will be. And then what you do is you add up all of the previous scores and take that total and subtract it from what the total will be after the next score. And that difference will be the missing score.